Hi there, it's Tim with another edition of Tim Smoke Review for Newbies. And today, for you newbie people, uh, I've been at this about a year now. I'm, I still consider myself a newbie, so this is for me too. But I found the Inokin iTaste VV, stands for Variable Voltage, uh, version 3. This is the third version of this one that they've made. And you'll notice real quick, it's kind of a squared off battery. Which is real nice, because if you're like me, a lot of times you just kind of set it down on the desk. And then your, uh, you know, regular batteries, you know, like these little things, they'll just roll all over the place. But with this, it's not going to roll on you, which is real handy. Also, um, it has this real nice screen on it. Let's see if I've got it with the right side up. There's your puff counter. As you can see right now, I've got it on 7.5 watts. That does go, you can either vape in watts or vape in volts. And the difference between the two, you'd probably be best off watching an instructional video on YouTube about the difference between uh, voltage and wattage. But uh, some people like one better than the other with this one. You can use both, so I won't try to confuse you on that. But anyway, right now I'm uh, doing this at uh, 7.5 watts. And as you can see, it will go, let me get, uh, there's a closey epi thing. Up button takes it all the way up to 11 watts. Downy button takes it down to uh, 6 watts. When it has that P by it, that means you're in power mode, wattage. And I've been uh, liking this one at 7.5. If you want to change it over to voltage, which most of the variable volts are, variable volt e-cigs are at, is voltage. You hold down on the bottom button, press your uh, vape button, shows you what it's at, and then it switches over. You see it has the U, which is actually supposed to be a V for voltage. But that first number you're getting is the puff count. There we're at uh, 3.6 volts. It goes down to 3.3. Press the up button in voltage, and it goes all the way up to 5. I've got a iClear um, 16 on it that came with my uh, MVP2. Let's see how it vapes at 5 volts. Very warm at 5 volts, but this tank can handle it. As you can see, it put out a lot of vapor, too. I prefer to do it at on wattage. So we're going to flip it over here from voltage to back to my wattage, have it at 7.5 watts. And what that does during the wattage is uh, it regulates how much uh, current is going into your uh, tank here. By how many ohms it's uh, it does its own calculation inside the battery somehow it's got some kind of little computer chip in it but anyway you can tell what ohm your tank is if you hold down both buttons you can see there atomizer 2 4.0 left on the battery there we go a20 that's how much uh, the uh, ohms on your atomizer are here Seven point five watts. I'm getting a pretty decent uh, vape right there. The uh, simple kit that I got is just the battery and the charger. It comes in this little box. It has a great big instruction manual and about three thousand different languages on it. <laughs> and uh, the uh, charger is really cool. It's a USB charger, and as you can see, it's a pretty long one. They still could make these just a little bit longer, but this is real handy dandy because, you know, you don't have to worry about, you know, winding up your cord or anything. It is a little bit longer than most USB chargers that you uh, get with electronic cigarettes. And it uh, fits nicely into your pocket. So this is a pass-through. You can uh, vape on it while it's charging. It has the uh, Noken power light there. When it's green like that, that means it's got a good charge on it, pretty much fully charged. As it starts to wear out, it'll go to yellow and then red. When it's on red, that means it's getting low, and when it blinks red, it's done. Time to charge. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you about it? Very nicely built. Got just a little bit of rattle. That's these uh, smaller buttons down here, but they need to have a little play in them just for bigger fingers like mine that 
you know may have a hard time pushing them which um, I don't have a hard time pushing the buttons so they're they're just really nicely laid out on there but um, anyway I highly recommend it I got this at uh, 101vapes.com for just $25.99 they have a, a larger kit that still just comes with one battery but you get uh, like uh, I think it's three to five of these iClear 16's in that and also get the uh, charger of course and it runs anywhere from 45 to 49 from prices that I've seen online but for someone just starting out that wants to use tanks and liquids and so forth I would say this would be a really good initial investment for you. It's got an 800 ma battery in it. That's 800 milliamp hours. Should be able to get at least six hours out of this, out of use out of this, some up to eight. And what I would do is uh, if I were just starting out and uh, I had friends that were using tanks and liquids and stuff and I wanted something cool, I would buy one of the uh, kits like this. It just has the battery and the charger. And then I'd also buy the other kit that has another battery with the, you know, I think it's up to five of these uh, iClear 16s in it. So that way you have a bunch of tanks and you can use different flavors and just trade them back and forth. You'd spend about $75 to $80 and you'd have a really, really, really nice kit that between the two batteries would last you all day long. So like if you go to work and then go clubbing or something like that, you know, you can charge one battery at work before you go out have another one ready to go while you go out clubbing or whatever it is that you do um, or if you just have an evening event where you can vape at then uh, that's a good way to go and would be a really really great way to start out both with a battery and a tank and using liquids and uh, if you have any questions about this uh, Inokin iTaste VV V3 don't hesitate to post them below I highly recommend this and what I use it for is just a taste alternative to my MVP2, which uh, I is my all the time go to vape along with my Vapor Zeus from Vapor for Life. But uh, I always have my banana cream flavor liquid in this one. And that's what, uh, that's what I vape on all day long. But I use uh, this one as just kind of a backup. And uh, you know, use different flavors in the tanks that, um, you know, I'll trade out different tanks on it. Like, let's see, that was the iClear 16. I can do that with the MVP too, but it's just nice to always have a little, you know, backup battery. And like I say, you can stick this one in your pocket, take it with you wherever you want to go. So like, uh, you know, if I get up from my desk and walk around somewhere, I can just stick this in my pocket and take it with me. That's a uh, I smoke up BCC mega tank that I've got on here. That works real well on it. It's a uh, 510 threaded, so it's going to work just about with uh, any 510 or Ego style clearizer or tank or cartomizer. Um, you can get a beauty. The beauty ring doesn't come with it on the kit I got, but you can get a beauty ring. The only reason why I don't keep it on is because I use those iClear 16s a lot. And uh, but as you can see, it looks real real nice with your tank if you have one of these uh, beauty rings on it. There we go. There's another one of my I Smoke Up BCC Mega Tanks. Love the flavor of that one. That's the uh, Whisper flavor from Evo Liquids that I get from my buddies up there at uh, Paradise Vapors here in Springfield, Missouri. It's uh, kind of a, it's like the, uh, remember my review on the uh, Halo e-cigs? This is kind of like the uh, Halo Tribeca is what it tastes like. Really good RY4 type of liquid, but that's the Evo Whisper. clouds of vapor and man I love that taste so anyway I'm gonna be uh, vaping on that vape laxin that's my that's my word vape laxin that's what I do all the time I'm Tim I don't stink anymore and if you have any questions or comment please leave them below but I do highly recommend the Inakin I taste VV V3 
I think you're really going to love it. Have a great day.